Hello YouTube and welcome to day 3 of Reviews Week. Um, if you've got no idea what I'm talking about when I say Reviews Week, check out the description down there and it will tell you all about it. Um, or you can go to my tra channel and find the trailer. So, today, as you can see, I have the Blackman Class 25. And this is another one of my dad's locos. Um, you can see it's the new Blackman packaging. So it all slides about and it's ice blocks and all sorts. And as you can see, it's the Class 25 um, Mot 2 Diesel 25231 BR Blue Weathered. And this is DCC ready. So in that box you have, as always, the accessory pack um, for the front of all the pipes and stuff, the guarantee, the thing where they want you to join the collector's club, um, all those sheets. Um, and I thought you'd show you the loco now, just because, having just said it's weathered, look at this beauty. It's absolutely stunning livery application. Um, so let's start at the front. Um, so it's got sprung buffers, that's always good. Um, and we've got um, wind wipers, which is also good. At the top here we have lights, and um, sometimes um, manufacturers don't actually weather these bits in the fear that they'll paint over the lights and you won't be able to see them but Backman's actually put a tiny bit of paint on here and the lights work and you can see and they come out sort of a weathered so that's also really good um, yeah coming down we have handrails they're separate um, separately fitted metal handrails footsteps um, and then there's the two tail lights down there that both work. Warning signs, um, that's another really good thing about the livery. Um, they've got everything right, um, along with the two stars just down here. Um, then down here you can see all the holes. Well, you probably can't, but I can. Uh, I'll turn it around a little. There you go. You can just about see the little holes down here. Um, they are where the accessory pack goes in, um, all those little pipes and stuff. Um, and then there's the coupling, which I think is in a NEM socket, I'm not sure. Um, to be honest, I've never taken it apart, and to be honest, it doesn't actually matter that much to me. Um, so, coming down the side, the doors don't open. Um, um, but... Again, the livery is beautiful with the weathering, um, and then we've got all these grills that have been weathered up more as well. Um, the bogies and the steps, they've been weathered, they're um, a sort of browny black. Um, and then we have the fuel tanks with all the um, gauges and the pipes and stuff running around them, that's quite nice. Um, the other bogies are the same. Um, the door handle and these handrails, I think, have also been fitted separately. Uh, I know these handrails have, for sure. Um, so that is really nice, too. Um, the sprung buffers at this end, too. And, as you can see, this end is pretty much the same. Um, but I think it came with a coupling only at one end. Again, I'm not sure, but I think it did. Um, so yeah, um, oh one last thing, let's look at the roof, um, we have the grill there which actually has a fan behind it, um, that doesn't turn but it's still really nice, then we have weathering on the exhaust and stuff too. So weathering, detail, um, livery, this is really nice in detail. Okay so here we are on the layout and I thought I'd come down to the station today. Um, because I don't um, give you camera shots of the station very often. So I'm going to show you the lights now. The lights are on the top here, like I mentioned earlier. So I just turn them on. And there you go, you can just about see them. I'll flash them on and off. There you go. So that's on a really low power, you can just about see them. And if I turn it around, the tail lights, which are down here in the normal place for a diesel. Yep. So there you go, all the um, 
lights work, which is really good. Um, I think these top ones could be slightly brighter, but then that's fine. Um, so let's get her running and see how she goes. And out onto the main line. Slow her down a bit. I don't know if you can see that. No, you can see that because she's just sort of speed up as she goes onto the power track. That is still moving just ever so slowly because um, it picks up in every single wheel. So that is um, really good um, for slow speed. And as always, other speeds are good. But watch this drift. I turn the power off about there, so that's how smooth it goes. It drifts all the way to a slow stop, which is really good. So there you go then, the Backroom Class 25. A superb runner and really good for detail. Um, the weathering is absolutely brilliant as well, so um, I'd really recommend getting one. Um, <laughs> I say that with almost every loco, but yeah, it's really good. Um, so thanks for watching, please like and subscribe.